Mr. President, what do you think Vladimir Putin wants? Vladimir Putin wants the world and Western countries, uh, what they give to him. Then appetites usually grow. I think the president of uh, the Russian Federation is not an exception if you look in the historical time. And many people have such appetites grow. The more you, you give them, the more their appetite grows in terms of territories. So those appetites keep growing. And then your surroundings keep saying, believe me, now is the time to take this step. That surrounding usually creates some kind of information bubble around the leader. You now you live in that information environment that they created for you. When you begin to live in such a of uh, world, then that's, you get such information and then you try to uh, undertake certain solutions which are terrible, not uh, civilized, not uh, democratic, but some kind of authoritarian. That's how they took our Crimea, they took away our Donbas, and now they want to take more of our territory. We will not let them, because one can't do things like that. Someone has to stop it. If not us, then there'll be others after us. Europe, countries of Europe, the European Union, the former uh, Soviet republics, and then, of course, Poland, uh, Romania, and, and so on. Those are big plans. So that's what he wants. And he will get it unless he is stopped. They talk about the ambition to bring back the former Soviet uh, countries into, back into the Russian Federation, saying that their territory is much bigger than what they have, and it goes way outside of today's uh, borders of the Russian Federation. So what he wants is his personal business. The question is about us, what we can allow him to get.